<laughs> Viva, that was, nice. that was fantastic. That was 42 seconds. That was, oh, yeah. that was great because you didn't have any tummy strap and no back support. You were just hanging out, singing Jimmy Crack Corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just to tell you guys kind of what I'm thinking here. I was initially just working on finding our center, which she, I think she has a pretty good understanding, but sometimes when we throw her on different things, it takes a little while for her to figure out where center is and where she is vertically over it. Yeah. Especially with just the alignment that she has, mm -hmm. you know, finding a comfortable spot and then letting her work, work off of that. Yeah. And then doing a little bit more taking away, at least taking away the posterior support, so along her back. And right now all I'm doing is giving her a little side support just with my forearm. Not hardly any at all. She knows I'm there, but she knows we're not really pushing into it either. Right, it's just, she, she's always kind of worked that way where she knows where the stopping point is or something, yeah. Yeah. And then um, giving her support when she comes back and then trying to remind her again where that midline is. And um, kind of decreasing the amount of rotation that comes with that extension. So bringing the right, the left arm forward and kind of getting shoulders uh, even and face that way. Uh -huh. Whether she wants to hold the hand out or, or not is fine, as long as we're just kind of getting our trunk lined up. Um, and then once we're comfortable with that, I'm trying not to let her knee go in too much, mm -hmm. but she is using the forearm for some support for her trunk, which is yes, nice. I like that, yeah. Um, and then just shifting weight side to side. So she has some movement over her as vertical as can be chunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you make sure Deb's there. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're playing. Since you're playing with Deb. It's kind of like a teeter totter for two. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and again, I'm just trying to make sure that her legs are as aligned as we can get them so she doesn't have any knee, oh. you know, issues. Ah! I know, yeah. I'm messing with them a little bit. Because yeah. I'd like for her not to have to roll over so much on this. Yeah, that one, yeah. But you know how many kind of ones. Yeah. That's nicer. Huh? There you go. And then same thing that you do, Julia, oh. is just giving her that input through the knees so she knows where those feet are. And she can work off of them that way. Yeah, it's really oh. nice. Really nice. Yeah. And it's a comfortable ball to sit it's on. It's not nice. an uncomfortable yeah. bench, huh? It's bouncy. Yeah, you can go out. And we did start with the jumps and the bouncing oh. first to wake up that back bone, huh? Let us know where each of our little oh. white gray is. Yay. Yeah. Yay, girl. Yeah, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, too. <laughs> 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 And then um, when she does feel like she's going down too far, she'll correct and come back. Yeah. But I want her to um, experiment with grading the amount of force that she gives so that she doesn't give too much and comes back too far. Yeah, but gives enough that can kind of, so that she can ride herself. Oh, yeah. Oh. So as soon as she comes into me, I just kind of give her a little help off so that she can find where that safe mid, mid vertical position is. Really nice. Wednesday morning. You just want to play all the time, I know. <laughs> yeah. I like the way you sit up so tall on your way back. Oh. Oh. 
I think she should. Um, I think I she should she stand up and then. Uh, and then you, we can do. A, we can do a little rocking first. You know. Are you helping with the rocking? We can do a little rocking first and then do our standing. Or do you want to rock? It? You can rock yourself. We'll go nice and slow. Rocking and a rolling. Johnny really wants the same haircut. Yeah, that's a good question. I 
bet you got a pixie. <sighs> so I'm just giving her a lot of trunk support now so she can feel the, feel the motion that we want to do. And then I'll take away some more. And then see if she can start to initiate that roll. find at home that this is a good position where if she's going to be using that elbow mm -hmm. just to give her something underneath it so she can stay more upright yeah in good posture rather than having to go all the way to her knee. that would be nice too you're smiling it's nice too because she it's usually her left arm and that's where her half tray is mm -hmm. it's on the left arm mm -hmm. so it's nice to see her really using Can I take these in? 